Did you know that the director of Squid Game only made enough money to eat? I had no idea. Tell me more. Yeah, man. The guy actually went in contract with Netflix and Netflix made like hundreds of hundreds of millions when this guy only made like a few tiny ones where he can only afford a few socks. And the guy did not go into a contract where he should have done profit share. The show was so viral and generated so much money that when the show ended and the money was coming into Netflix, the director of Squid Game only earned a, like a percentage of what he should have earned. So when a person brings an idea in a company and it's unique and then it's going to elevate the department or the company up, the person should actually agree on some sort of profit share or a commission structure that is going to help both the company and the person that brings it. And usually this person, someone that works in a company and has the entrepreneur mindset, but in reality just doesn't want to own a business, but is going to innovate and is going to collaborate with the owner or the leaders of the organization so that they can actually make a lot more money than just salary. What would you do if you were him? What would you have done differently? I should have put a contract where I'd say, hey, if the revenue of this production passes X amount of dollars, then I'm going to have a profit share on those X amount of dollars. Because my first goal was going to be X amount of dollars, but after that, it's going to be profit for both of us.